Ready for some acronyms? We're going to talk about how to configure an MAC ACL on a WAP 125 and 581 next. Let's get everyone on the same page. MAC is Media Access Control. ACL is Access Control Lists. MAC Access Lists are Layer 2 Access Lists. Each ACL is a set of rules applied to traffic received by the Wireless Access Point, or WAP. These rules specify whether the contents of a given field should be used to allow or deny access to the network. ACLs can be configured to inspect fields of a frame, like the source or destination MAC address, the Virtual Local Area Network Identifier, or VLAN ID, or the Class of Service, or COS. When a frame enters the WAP device port, it inspects the frame and checks the ACL rules against the content of the frame. If any of the rules match the content, a permit or deny action is taken on the frame. Configuring MAC ACLs is typically used to authorize access to network resources to select devices in the network. Today, we're going to walk through how to configure those ACLs. This diagram shows you how to configure MAC-based access lists so that all devices in the network will be permitted to have access to Laptop 2 behind the WAP except for PC1. First, log into the web-based utility of the WAP and choose Access Control ACL. Click the plus button. Next, verify that the Enable box is checked to ensure the ACL is active. Enter a name for the ACL in the ACL name field. We will name the access list ACL1. Next, choose Mac from the ACL. Type drop-down list. Click the associated interface button and choose an interface from the associated interface drop-down list. Multiple interfaces can be associated to an ACL. Then click OK. Next, click the More button to configure the parameters of the ACL. Click the plus button to add a new rule. Choose an action from the action drop-down list. Permit allows packets that match the ACL criteria to connect to the network. Deny prevents matching packets from connecting. Now you'll want to choose a service or protocol to be filtered from the service protocol drop-down list. All traffic treats all packets as a match to the ACL filter. Select from list lets you choose your option from the following list, or you can enter a custom protocol identifier. Then define the source MAC address from the source MAC address drop-down list. If you choose single address, enter the source MAC address in the field. In this case, 1060 4B70 9707. Then define the destination MAC address from the destination MAC address drop-down list. Again, if you choose single address, enter the destination MAC address in the destination MAC address field. Choose a VLAN ID from the drop-down list. You can allow any VLAN ID through, or you can select Custom, where you can enter your own VLAN ID. Choose a class of service from the drop-down. If you choose Custom, enter the priority in the class of service field. Repeat these steps if you want to add to the access control list. When your list is complete, click OK, then save. Congratulations, you've just configured a Mac ACL on WAP access point. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.